The Blind Men and the Elephant Once upon a time, there lived six blind men in a town in India. They thought that they were very clever. They had often heard of elephants, but they did not know what an elephant looked like, but they could smell it, and they could hear it. It so happened one morning that an elephant was driven down the road where they stood. When they were told that the great beast was before them, they asked the driver to let him stop, so that they might see him. Of course they could not see him with their eyes, but they thought that by touching the elephant, they could learn what kind of animal he was. When the driver stopped the elephant, each man touched a different part of it. The first one happened to touch the elephant's body. It felt hard, big and wide. Well, well, he said. Now I know all about this beast. He is exactly like a wall. The second man touched one of the elephant's tusks. It felt smooth and hard and sharp. My brother, he said. You are mistaken. He is not at all like a wall. He is round and smooth and sharp. He is more like a spear than anything else. The third man happened to touch the elephant's trunk. It felt long, thin, and wiggly. Both of you are wrong, he said. This elephant is like a snake. The fourth man reached out his arms and touched one of the elephant's legs. It felt thick, rough, hard and round. Oh, how blind you are, he said. It is very clear to me that he is tall and round like a tree. As the fifth man was very tall, he chanced to take hold of the elephant's ear. It felt thin, and it moved. The blindest should know that this beast is nothing like any of the things that you name, he said. He is exactly like a huge fan. The sixth was very blind indeed, and he happened to touch the animal's tail. It felt long, thin, and strong. Oh, poor guys, he said. You surely have lost your senses. This elephant is not like a wall, or a spear, or a snake, or a tree. Neither is he like a fan. But any man with a particle of sense can see that he is exactly like a rope. Then the elephant moved on, and the six blind men sat by the roadside all day, and quarreled about him. Each in his own opinion, believed that he knew exactly how the animal looked like, and they called each other hard names because they did not agree with one another. Meanwhile, the king was passing by the road. From a distance, he was observing and listening to these blind men quarreling about the elephant. How can each of you be so certain that you are right? asked the king. The six blind men considered the question. And then, knowing the king to be a very wise man, they decided to say nothing at all. The elephant is a very large animal. Its ears are large, its trunk is long. It walks around with heavy steps, with four thick legs. It also has two tusks and a tail," said the king kindly. Each one of you touched only one part. Perhaps if you put all the parts together, you will see the truth. He is right, said the first blind man. To learn the truth. We must put all the parts together. Listening to the king, all the other men agreed upon what he said and were able to have a better picture of what an elephant could look like. The story illustrates how easy it is to be seduced by the rightness of our own views. Frequently, since we are part of the system, it is very difficult to see the whole pattern of effects. Instead, we tend to focus on snapshots of isolated parts of the system and wonder why our deepest problems never seem to be solved. Therefore, our individual perceptions influence our practices and can lead to miscommunication and conflict. This short story outlines the importance of understanding the whole picture. By gathering data about a particular situation from different perspectives and to be a little bit more listening. The better we get a sense of the whole, the higher is the chance to make a healthier decision.